Hello guys and today I'm going to show you how to run your virtual devices for Android uh, without running Android Studio. So how do you do that? For example, uh, you can use Flutter or other development frameworks such as React Native and you need this device running without going into Android Studio because it's real cumbersome. So first run your Android Studio and we need the name of the uh, device. So go to AVD Manager and look at the names one is named FTR and one is named XLR so your device's name might be different whatever it is uh, make sure to copy that name make sure to copy that name and put it in a put it in a notepad file because we're gonna be needing them later okay now since we have that we don't need this anymore we can close Android Studio exit okay so now go into your C drive or where you have installed Windows, go into user and go into your username, find your username. For example, for me it's this and go into app data. Now for some people this app data will not be visible because this is a hidden folder and if it's like it's normally by default uh, hidden so you can see it. So go into view and click on your hidden items. And you can see app data. Go into app data, go into local, go into Android, and go into your SDK and go into your tools. And now you're gonna see something called emulator.exe. Okay, now we are going to create a bat file on your desktop or anywhere you want the shortcut to be. Uh, create a new text document and say ftr run. txt. Keep it a uh, text file for now. Uh, copy this uh, location cd. So when the batch, batch file runs, it's, it's going to go into this folder and run emulator.exe. So in order to run emulator.exe, this is what we do. We type in emulator uh, space hyphen avd, which means it's going to run emulator and run avd manager and run the uh, a device named XL, XLR. Remember we had XLR, XLR. Okay. So since we have that, we're going to close this. And that's about it that's all you need to do and rename this to dot bat here we go dot bat okay yeah i guess it doesn't matter if you say okay so when you enter this it's going to start the emulator that's it thank you